victory and you know it's not looking good for the KJK here the two points in already Hearts of Steel could be seeing a 3-0 victory here which would be one of the biggest wins we've seen so far I think the KJK can do this I think they're just having a little bit of a problem here getting organized they're up against eight thing is things with the uh, Hearts of Steel right I wouldn't say all their players are the most talented that's the thing. I mean, there's, there's plenty of times where they kill each other off pretty damn effectively. What they've got going, though, is cohesion in space, and that's where it's working. Absolutely, yeah. It is pretty much, you know, they have understood the title of this game very well. It is Team Fortress 2. <laughs> and just that engineer work defending there, that was so, so well done. Just the fact that you had you know, engineers using the Wrangler, other engineers helping when, the, when he needed to, like, take the Wrangler down or anything like that. You know, they'd be using... The uh, I can't even remember what the gun's called, the one that heals sentries. It's just oh, such thing. good work. Anyway, let's see what the game goes. Algorithms on point. You can't do anything versus crits heavy. <laughs> <laughs> That's Agent Fury. Well. Oh no, 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 no. Oh jeez, why? Festive Primo, what were you doing? Running out as a lone engineer with an Uber? <laughs> oh, you... This is not looking good. What the hell? There's no need to Uber. Oh, I, I, he just got away, but he was so killable. Mm. He was glowing and everything. <laughs> there goes first point. Oh, he's been much more staunchly... Def uh, no, this is KJK defending. They're doing a reasonable job of it. But as I say, the thing with Hearts of Steel, they're a little bit slower than the other teams. They're a bit more cohesive. It's a good trade-off, I'd say. Yeah, I think that really has been sort of the big key with, with their game so far. They haven't been big rushes, but they've been very, very strong, solid attacks. They, It is very much that they've bided their time and actually waited until they have a good push force to go up. And it's, that's pretty much, I think, why they have managed to oh win so well. You have know? you seen the, their entire team has gone through? Yeah. Them? This should be <laughs> hilarious. Oh, come on, let's see this work. <laughs> <laughs> Party Mart in there. Let it be Lariga. Oh, what the fuck, really? Mm. Oh, that was a nicely timed Uber there. This is looking dangerous. Oh, my God. The rear guard heavy manoeuvre. Well, this is dangerous right now. If the, here's the thing. If they start capping E now, this could be opportunistic. Oh, random crits. Get your random crits. <coughs> Five of every person. In the chest. And that was how you attack a point B. From behind. Yeah, that was... You know, I'd like to say it was textbook, but that was that was way better done than a textbook could ever do it. And, yeah, that is... I think that is by far and away the best distraction we've had. And even with a good attack now... Ooh, so, oh, so close. But I still think they're going to have it. Yeah, oh, one That's tricky the, scout. Nice work. Nice work there from Thirsty Soul, that tricky scout move of just hiding a bit and hoping nobody notices you. <laughs> but the thing is, that wasn't textbook, that was an unorthodox maneuver of let's go all around the back and attack from that way. Because, you know, everything's facing frontwards and KJK didn't, had one guy at the back, just about saw it, and then before it's too late, and it all came round. Heavy Uber at the right time, got slaughtered in the tunnels, that was excellently timed. Speaking of uh, timing, unlucky there for Shea and who was it? Uh, Piers as well, I believe. <laughs> Attempting a crits creek there, but I think just a little bit too late. Managed to get uh, taken down by a heavy coming around the corner. Pretty sure it was uh, Froggy there who came around and took them both out. There's um, algorithms again. <laughs> nope. Oh, that was <laughs> not good. Flash there. Oh, this is why you don't m piss around with medics. Kill them as soon as you see them. The thing is, where's he got over again? The thing I find with Hearts of Steel, though, a little bit admin heavy, and it's not really defined members. The Uber. Oh yeah, the, the, their Ubers are nowhere near as good as the KJK, but I think it's just, it's just the fact that they managed to move up at the right time. It's a lot more organised. Yeah. That's that's the thing that's really helping them. At the moment, also there's a bit of a cap and point. See, it's looking good. Twisted Trev there. Trying to take down that sentry. Difficult. That engine is on that, though. And is that an Australian wrench? 
It is. Celebrity. Anyway, enough looking for the uh, Australian gold. Um, and it's we're going back to our old point C game now, and I think you know we're seeing Hearts of Steel again lure them, lure them out towards E. You know, it, I like it when they do that. It's like you know, come come towards E and stay away from C, and then we'll just blam C. The thing is, though, it doesn't bode well for the KJK purely because this is looking very, very similar in regards to what happened last time around. You know, they've very nicely taken A and B points. And, you know, yeah, a little bit slow to attack point C, but, you know, the problem is, I think I think if, uh, if Hearts of Steel can uh, repeat the last, uh, their sort of first attacking game, they could quite easily be able to take this and possibly even quicker than last time around as well. Again, demo is knowing how to use weapon arc. This is the thing though, this point C is looking a little bit desolate for the time being. I mean, I think both teams are kind of struggling against each other. Not sure happening with the rest of, rest of the team, but are they all struggling on point E? Well, I don't know then. I think, you know, the KJK might get their defence on here, but it's six minutes on the clock. This is the thing I really like about Hearts of Steel. They know how to use time, and, you know. I know it's not necessarily a pub game, but, you know, it's nice. Co thing is, this is what I've always kind of wanted from like a pub game. It's about tournament. Teams actually working together in a pub environment. You know, you know, nicely done. Five minutes fifty-seven. This is the thing. Hearts have got time, but KJK can. This thing right now, the KJK will win all three of the next games. Or, you know, the tiebreaker as well. This is this is tricky because Hearts have a much harder time than they used to. Yeah, I think it's actually uh, kind of like what I was saying uh, just a minute ago. Obviously, you know, Hearts of Steel they could just try and repeat what they did last time round and win. But obviously, KJK know how they lost that round, and if they have prepared uh, ideally for it, then they can kind of shut out that tactic altogether and force Hearts of Steel to come up with something new. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, there is tactics in these games. I mean, it is literally point distraction and pro approaching the point. I mean, that that thing we saw on point B, Heart still came all in from the rear and it worked. But this time they're going something similar again, and you know they're not trying anything new this time. They're they're, they're trying to attack points from the front, and it's just about working. I say that, and it's working quite well. I mean, Chris, even having that time to Conga right there. And I think it's just about going... Oh, that was a lovely puff there. Like, nope, stay with my point. I've got the point. Yeah, I have to say, I've been really, really impressed with algorith algorithms the entire game. Just the, the fact as well that people seem to be finally learning that point C has that small area of uh, like corrugated metal that you can just hide behind, and there's literally nothing that anybody defending can do about it except go around the corner. Yeah, hiding, pro strat. Use it. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, uh, hiding, it does work. Like, you know with the cart on a cart rush game, cart push game? Sometimes just hide behind the cart and avoid the sentries. It really works, because like, the engine's going, I don't know what to do! He's behind cover, my sentry's not doing anything! <coughs> oh, <laughs> Jojo there, trying to escape the crit bullets, but no. Oh, not again. Not again, Thirsty Soul, you can't do the same trick twice. Especially when you've got a medic. <laughs> oh no, Sir Sergio, they're trying to get a big shot off. I'm loving this like tension at this corner here. It's like, who's going around the corner first? And there goes the crits. Jeez, they are not making it easy this time. The KJK are really fortifying this D area, and they know to you know if they let this go, it's been much harder to hold E. Five minutes fifty-six. 
Deep Brown Monkey there again with the crits. I think they're taking a leaf out of Shaggy's book. I've just crits that demo man. Seems to be OP, and then every complains that apparently no. Oh my god, they nerfed the sticky bomb launcher. Game is ruined. <laughs> yeah, like, like it was. <laughs> yeah, I have to say as well, um, Deep Fried Monkey and Twisted Trev actually, Hard to Steal have really got some very, very, very good uh, demo men in those two. And, you know, I, I'd like to see those two up against Shaggy. You know, see which one really comes out on top as the true best demo man. For the time being, though, it looks like... Oh, Kerouac with textbook stab there. <laughs> and on a pyro, the shame. <laughs> that boiling you feel, it is shame. I, I, even I'm playing pyro and I get stabbed. Oh, no. That was not cool. But look, I'm looking at uh, KJK. They are really holding out on that point D. The thing is, they know they can get to point E and point D really easily. So they've got very good ability to move. have to say that this is a hard map. Also have to say that Kerouac is in the most compromised position for a spy ever. <laughs> Kerouac, what are you doing? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I can. <laughs> he got bumped down there. You know, the ultimate kind of demise stalling is when you see somebody going down the pit and they got the parachute on like Float, float harder, <laughs> float harder. <laughs> Can't believe Kerouac got away with that. He lived here on face first into a demo man. He didn't question it. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Kerouac, you're a special ability of people just not noticing who you are. You know how to play spy. <laughs> Right now, this is looking good. I mean, you know, uh, the KJK have realised to block off that A door because that thing's a pain in the ass. This yeah, well, I mean, last time around, that was pretty much Hearts of Steel. That was basically where their entire attack came from. Um, then they managed to split off from there. But, you know, that <laughs> it's very difficult to try and come around from B and then attack through E just because of how long it takes to actually do that. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, the A route, I'd say, is the quickest one. The C route is kind of good, but I don't know what it is. It's prone to getting wrecked. Um, I think if you go, th it's, you know, if you go for the C route, it's long-winded, the A route's quicker, and for some reason you get killed really easy if you're going through C. Well, they're saying that now. Look at this. Oh, that was a lovely puff there. There's Pit. I haven't even seen Pit so much, but... People don't like you, Kerouac. They're quite determined to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, this is a very competent defense here. It's a complete difference from the first game. They've really got their patter down now. And they're not letting point D go, and this is what's keeping them in the game. Those spawn doors are really vital to, you know, keeping point E. You know, part of me is thinking here, maybe that, you know... I don't know what ha how the magic happened the first time, but Heart Steel was the first one to just glomp the entire point with the entire team. Because that's what happened, they just literally checked en masse and it worked. Yeah, that, that's something we actually haven't really seen on point D or E actually this time round. There have been attacks, but they've definitely been a lot slower. I think perhaps they're getting a little bit too... They're trying to take a <laughs> oh, no. few too many risks and they're not paying off very well, especially not with... Um, Anna Bishasuvi charged with crits pretty much 50% of this game. Um, yeah, you're not going to be able to do a lot against that. Thing is, though, he's doing that and he's still not top scoring on the team. You know, the thing is, the KJK have got some very, very good guys on their team. They just know how to use them here and there. That's the thing, they're good on solo efforts. They may not have coordinated, but I think they've got their strategy down there, which, you know, make sure that A door doesn't get rampaged through. There's a pyro jumping around. A medic's Ubering a medic. This is all kinds of wrong. <laughs> is that Kerouac? Yes, it is. Oh, there goes the medic! Oh, that, that, that was a nice time stab by Kerouac. 
Also, he's one of those crazy types of um, spy which uses the revolver. I mean, I love those guys. I'm, I'm a revolver uh, spy person now. I love using the big kill. Yeah, that was a good attempt at attack the, uh, an attack there by Hearts of Steel, but the problem was, you know, they Ubered so early, you know, by the time they were around the corner, <laughs> there was nothing that? they could do. <laughs> Sorry, just a uh, little Kerouac in the middle of a blue huddle, just suddenly stab the medic and run away. It's like, oh god, why can't you guys see this spy? <laughs> <laughs> this is where in my policy of just shoot everyone really, really works. But this is the thing that I think where Hearts still really lost their game, that they've lost that A-door. Or the A-hole maybe, I don't know. Um, and, uh, you know, oh, one last desperate attempt. Oh my god, times six, and no, Bubble's shutting that down. There it goes. That's a win there for the KJK.